Rangers was a club that was always keen in expanding its impact. The club is not afraid to spread its wings and America was ideal because there were so many expats had gone there. Particularly during the 20s, the numbers increased to the extent there was something like 23 ships leaving Scotland every month, carrying about 500 people each. So the, there were tens of thousands of people going every year to Canada and America and establishing fairly large communities of Scots. Sort of late 20s, early 30s, soccer, to give it its term, I suppose, in North America, was just starting to emerge and just starting to develop. So it was an opportunity for those in North America to raise the profile of soccer as well. Season 29-30 was a historic season for Rangers in terms of it was the first time they had won all four trophies that they competed for. The League Championship, Scottish Cup, the Glasgow Cup and the Glasgow Charity Cup. Rangers were always and have always been a massive attraction to the fans and so when they left St Enoch Station there were a number of supporters went along to see them and then even down at Greenock when they left in the Andania there were thousands thronged on the port side to wave them off and singing follow follow which is the first record I've got of the, of the fans actually singing follow follow. Rangers were given a massive welcome in Toronto, especially by the ex-Scots community. When they arrived at Toronto train station, there was a huge crowd waiting for them. They were piped through the city. It was fitting, since many Canadians had lost their lives during the First World War, that Rangers showed their respect for the loss, and City Hall had a cenotaph outside, which was actually modelled on the cenotaph in Whitehall. And so the club took the opportunity to make presentation of a wreath. 